And now we take a look at some other stories from around Taiwan. In its latest move to crack down on fare evasion, TRA has announced that starting next year, passengers will only have 10 minutes to exit a train station after they've arrived, or face a fine of at least 15 NT dollars. Those with valid platform passes will have one hour on the platform. Responding to fears that the policy could unfairly penalize vulnerable passengers, TRA has promised that only those who linger in the station without a valid reason will be fined. In a first for Taiwan, a marriage allowance has been proposed by the government of Hongchuan Township, Pingtung County. The subsidy would give a one-off payment of $10,000 to any newlywed who has been resident in the township for more than a year, meaning two locals marrying each other would get $20,000 in total. The policy is currently being considered by the local council and could go into effect early next year. National Kaohsiung University of Applied Sciences has partnered with the prestigious Philippine University for the first time to offer students a summer English camp. The program uses travel to make English learning more effective, as well as helping students learn about the Philippines, a key economic partner in Taiwan's new southbound policy. The Ateneo de Manila University, founded in 1859, is the third oldest university in the Philippines and is still considered one of its foremost centers of learning.